Hi YouTube, it's Banded Twin and I'm coming to you guys because I said I'd be making another video today. I was supposed to be making a video with Banded Mama, but we just remembered her son has his very first Pinewood Derby for Boy Scouts. And so they are at that event and we could not hook up tonight. So we're going to try next week because I leave tomorrow on my very first post-op vacation. And I also wanted to talk about that. Um, I have had so many mixed feelings about this. Um, it's my very first vacation. It's only three days, two nights. And, but I realized the last nine weeks, I have been living in this box, this perfect little bubble with every perfect little meal planned, everything written down, everything, knowing every calorie, every uh, protein, every fat, every salt, every carb, everything show you guys the last 50 days when I started my diet journal here you can see how I have everything in here um, including water and my exercise and my vitamins and everything everything's been perfect I've, I know everything that I'm putting in my mouth and yeah so thinking about leaving my little bubble going to a hotel, going to where I need to eat out, anxiety hit real fast. And so I didn't know what to do. I um, I stopped thinking about going on vacation. I'm like, oh, let's not think about it. But then my husband's like, we need to go. And I thought, you know what? You are so right. I am not going to be living life in this perfect little bubble. That's not what life's all about. And so I need to learn to live with a lap band not learn to live in this perfect little bubble with every little meal made, planned for me. That's not what my life is going to be like forever and I don't want it to be like that. So uh, we decided that we're gonna go to Minneapolis, which is about four and a half, five hours away. Um, yeah, sorry. And uh, I'm excited. I, I'm excited for the challenge that this is going to you know, give me. And I did do a lot of preparation. I found a hotel with a pool. I found a hotel with a fitness center so that I can continue my workouts every day while I'm on vacation. And also, I'm excited to swim laps. I haven't been in a pool in a year, so I definitely look forward to that. And uh, yeah, and all the events we have planned for the whole time we're gone is all a lot of walking, a lot of exercise, and I'm, I'm really excited for this vacation. Um, uh, so we'll see what happens and how I do and this is just another you know test or another uh, Part of my life that I need to learn to get through and I'm looking forward to it uh, As you guys can see from this morning I said I was getting my hair cut to celebrate my first 30 pounds lost Which was a long time ago and I finally got to it I got four and a half inches chopped off and I feel wonderful I can't even tell you how good it feels to get your hair cut um, absolutely loving it and I uh, let's see I made myself a goal at 50 pounds loss which I'm almost at 40 so but once I get to 50 my daughter and I are gonna go get our our uh, pedicures and the manicures done and a um, little nervous about that too because that's something that I've never done because I always thought you know I'm too heavy I shouldn't be sitting in those chairs I might break them and I'm realizing, you know what, Erica, you deserve it. You're working very hard, and you deserve this. And I'm trying to not let my weight hold me back anymore. So I'm looking forward to that, too. Uh, I also wanted to update you guys, because I forgot on my update this morning, about my port site. Um, so if you don't want to turn, tune into this, you can turn off now, because it's a little gruesome what happened. Um, at first, it was real big bruising on my abdomen over my port. And lately, it's gotten to be about the size of my port. And it still hasn't gone away, but it's still there. But um, we're trying to figure out if I was allergic to it and all that kind of stuff, but I'm not. Good news is I went for my fill on Friday. She put the needle in. I didn't even feel it. And then she immediately took it out because it began to drain blood, lots and lots of blood. Apparently there is a pocket over my port and it fills with blood because my port when I am exercising or just daily activity It's rubbing against veins 
and it's popping those veins and the blood just sits in this pool above my pore. Sure, it's scary to me because I'm thinking, is it going into my pore? Is there blood in there? Ew, I don't want to think about that. But, but she said um, she drained it and, and almost all the bruise was gone. It was amazing. Now, since Friday, I've been exercising and running my 5K. It's all back again. It's filled with blood. It's back to the dark bruising again. Um, so basically, it's you know we're hoping that scar tissue forms eventually, and it closes that pouch, and then it stops rubbing against veins so that I stop bleeding. But as long as it stays small, I'm okay, she said. But if it gets to be too big, then we'll have to figure something out. But we'll cross that road when we come to it. If we ever come to it, hopefully we won't, because it hasn't gotten. It's only gotten smaller, not bigger. So we're pretty confident it's going to go away with time. So that is the update on my port. All right, guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I will be taking pictures of my meals and posting them on my Facebook. If anybody wants to befriend me on Facebook, it's banded and then the space twin. So same thing here. And I hope you guys have a great week. Love you guys. Bye.